This all came about from me pulling up a bit sore after doing big heavy leg press effort and thought I'd strain my neck. I was getting treatment for that leading up to the Oceania Championships. It just wasn't getting better at the rate that it should be. We got an MRI done to check whether I'd actually bulged my disc doing leg press, which is, you know, wouldn't be surprised with the amount of pressure we were under doing it. So we did, had the MRI and that didn't show any um, cause or reason for the injury, but it did actually show a couple of nodules on my thyroid gland that aren't normally there. With the ultrasound, um, he was taking his time. He was actually quite detailed. He then told me that it's looking cancerous um, compared to the benign and safe nodules that I could have. So I had the biopsy and the CT scan and I then had to make the decision um, whether I stay in Adelaide because I was scheduled to do some wind tunnel testing for the Olympic equipment the next day and I was flying out that night. I just said to our medical team that, look, just give me a phone call with the results. Driving to the airport, got the phone call from the doctor and saying that, yeah, it's, uh, it's positive for thyroid cancer and we then now need to start the process of dealing with it um, and what my point of view is, where I stand and give me a moment to process it and assess what I want to do. But thankfully, it's the best or safest version of thyroid cancer you can get. Um, it's very treatable and it's got a great prognosis. And given that we caught it relatively early um, was a blessing. One of the first thoughts I had in regards to Tokyo and my cycling career was that <clears throat> I'm not going to let this stop me. If I'm able to and if it's safe to, then you know what? I'm not going to let this have power over what I do and I've got some goals I want to achieve and Tokyo is the big target and that hasn't changed. I'm not going to stop chasing the Olympics and trying to be the best in the world. Um, it's what I love to do and yes, this is a challenge um, and a bit of a setback but you know, it's just going to now set me up for my next charge and make me stronger. I should be able to get back on my bike relatively soon because they did just touch my throat. I mean, my legs are good to go. <laughs> the support network has been fantastic and it's a credit to the team we have here at Cycling Australia that look, we, there's more to life than just riding bikes and we care about each other outside of cycling. So, And that's really shown through the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah from going through everything that I have, it just, has highlighted the fact to me that if there is anything unusual or it's not normal for you to just get it checked. Guys just sort of, they can be like, oh, that should, that'll be right. Um, just leave it, it's, it'll get better sort of mentality sometimes. And I think it's just important to, if something is unusual, just get it checked because you just don't know what it could be and how that could possibly impact your family and yourself in the future. So. Yeah, I just recommend the blokes to just, if there's anything unusual, just suss it out and actually know what's going on.